Now, for Susceptible Images and Third Coast Digest, I'm here with artist Roy Staub at the Linden Sculpture Garden. Hi, Roy. Hi. Welcome to my pond. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to the pond. recently at the Linden Sculpture Garden. Um, tell us, how did this project originate? Ah, uh, yeah. Polly Morris uh, is a very wonderful person, and she invited me to come here to make a work. We walked around the garden, and she says, make a work, what do you want to do? And, and I don't know, didn't know what to do. Should I make a work in the trees? Should I make something here and there? And you know, this garden is very well designed. The art is here, the space around each piece is there and there's not much room for another piece of art. But, 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 you know, I work in water a lot. Yes, the you do. The <laughs> pond, the pond is in front. The pond is open. Uh, the Henry Moore, which is nearby, Henry Moore, I don't know if he's a nemesis or a, a god, because when I made my work in Central Park in 1987, he was in the pond the year before I made my work in the pond by the Plaza Hotel. So here we are. So maybe that's the karma to have the work here in the pond. You also, what inspires you? When you get an idea for a piece, is it shape, form, nature? What happens? What happens to you to make it happen? I don't make works in, 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 uh, in the water in Wisconsin very often. This was an opportunity. And I, have, I have to look at this fabulous garden. I, I, it is a fabulous garden of great sculptures and I have to figure out how do I fit? What can I do? And, and uh, I have to do something in my contrast, in my vocabulary, in my way. So I chose the pond or the pond chose me and then I had to figure out what to do. How does it relate to my past experiences and uh, I'm working with water and reflection and sight and Oh, this pond has this shape, and I made a, a work that's low because I want reflection in it for the pond. That's what inspires me. Roy, you talked about the materials that you use, that they came from here. What, what are the materials, and where did you find them? Um, we, we, we found them on the periphery of the land, and it's what, what uh, quote, quote, they say, what is invasive, or the sap, they're, they're actually saplings. And uh, I have to tell you the truth, they are buckthorn. And uh, even though this garden is so well maintained, th this is an invasive that, that grows beautifully and it worked beautifully. But, 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 I tried not to be so pure using only buckthorn and I tried willow because I want the willow bend so beautifully. But when I drill this piece and the horizontals are three holes apart and when I put the middle hole in and bent it, the willow and the ash would break. So. The buckthorn worked the best, and it had to be the right, right, right thickness and the right size. We picked many, many, many. We gleaned this, this grounds of buckthorn to make this piece of art. When, when I came here to make the work, I, I, in my mind, I was searching for a figure and form to work with. And of course, I, 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 I put a, a line down the middle to figure out what it was. And actually, we did that for a photograph for the Milwaukee Journal newspaper. And, but of course, that was the middle line, and then the piece never was going to be that way. But that was the center. So that was going to be one edge of one of these ovals. But I tried to do the oval drawing in this shallow water, which is about three feet deep, but it was too deep to make it perfect. So then I spent a day, I went and gathered reeds, and this is my, this is my material I, I work in the East Coast with, because reeds are so wonderful, but very, very uh, temporary. So I, I made two ovals. The big one is in the back from here, and the smaller is in the front, which is three quarters the different size. And I, I wove it on the shore, and I brought it in, set it up, and then around the edge, I, at, at that measurement, I put the horse, uh, the verticals in to the bottom. And, and then I overlapped it to the other side, down that, that center line to get uh, the figure that I'm making. So I used past materials to make something more permanent, and since this is, I, I wanted it to last longer because this is a more permanent sculpture garden, we use buckthorn and, and the native material that's uh, prevalent here on the land. One thing about, important about this piece is that I pegged it. I, I, I put all the, uh, the verticals in the ground, then I cut them to size because of the level of the water told me how, and some overlap the other, so one group has to be taller than the other because they're overlapping. 
and then I drill the hole into these verticals and then into the horizontals and just peg it. If you go really close, you can see where each, each one has a peg going on the top. A very primitive uh, process or, or technique, and uh, I've used it only a few times. Is it something that you figured out yourself, or is it something that you learned somewhere? I always sort of figured it out myself. This one, two, three thing, one, two, three thing I never used before. Yeah. I always try to find something that tickles me and something that's newer, or, or just new to me, newer. It's, I, it's always basic techniques or uh, primitive thought and how to do something in structure and form. And also, I would I talk about this piece in my mind as being a bit rustic because the materials have something to say. They're not as smooth, straight lines as the reeds. They, they bump and end in a funny way. But that's part of the piece. So when you're making a work and the idea is developing, do you ever get nervous about how it's going to turn out or how are you going to make it? How the materials are behaving? Uh, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure. Because I feel every piece has to be a new piece. Uh, every, uh, I have to resolve it if I don't know it, and it always takes time. And I have to collect the materials, and then uh, what materials to use, and I had to use what was available here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm nervous when I begin, and when I'm doing it, because I have to see how it resolves at the end. The end is the solution. That's art, the solution.